What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I've brought you a longer video, so I hope you enjoy. So like the title says, you don't need any plugins for this visualizer. That is why it's not going to look the same as the original, but very close. I think you already knew that. And also, you need to install Audacity. I know I said you don't need any plugins, but Audacity is a free program and takes a few seconds to download and install. Links to download Audacity will be in the description. Don't forget to also install Lame, which is a small plugin for Audacity that lets you export in mp 3 format. Format. So once you have Audacity installed, open it up and export your audio file. Go to effects and apply a low pass filter. What this will do is keep the higher frequencies aka bass which our visualizer will react to and decrease the lower frequencies so our visualizer doesn't detect it. This will all start to make sense once we start working on After Effects. Keep the frequency at 1000 which will be by default and roll off at highest 48 dB. Hit OK. Apply low pass filter once again. Now go back to effects and apply normalize to decrease volume a little bit. Keep it at default which is minus 1.0 and hit OK. Go back to effects and select bass and treble. Bass at 5.0 worked best for me here, but it will depend on how much bass you want. Don't add too much, hit apply then close. Go to file, export audio, save it wherever you want and name it bass boosted. Now close Audacity and fire up After Effects. Click new project, go to file, import and import your logo, music file and the bass boosted music file that we just exported. Drag the music file to the new comp icon. Go to composition and composition settings. I'm working with 1280x720 resolution in 30fps. You can choose any size you want, select any background color, it doesn't matter and hit ok. Import the rest to your timeline. Keep the bass boosted file at the bottom and click the speaker icon to mute it. Resize your logo if needed. Right click on the composition, select new, solid. Name it spectrum, color doesn't matter, hit ok. Click and hold on the rectangle tool and select ellipse tool. Click in the middle of the logo and hold down shift, alt and control key to create a perfect circle. Make sure it's a little bit smaller than the logo. Change the blending mode of the mask to none. Go to window and enable effects and presets menu if it's not enabled already and search for audio spectrum. Drag and drop it on the spectrum layer. Change audio layer to bass boosted. Make path to mask 1. Start frequency to 1. And frequency to 400. Frequency bands to 3000 maximum height to 500 thickness to 7 change the colors to white side options to side b now keep in mind the values will be different if your comp size is larger or smaller if you made a larger composition then you might want to change the values now go to effects and presets and search for mirror drag and drop it onto the spectrum layer use these values again values will be different if you're working on a larger or smaller comp size move spectrum layer below the logo let's have a look at how it looks so far Now we add some earthquakes to the visualizer, aka the fun part. Right click on the bass boosted audio file. Go to keyframe assistant and select convert audio to keyframes. This will create a new layer called audio amplitude. This layer has created keyframes from our audio file. We'll have a look at them in a second. Go to window and enable effect controls if you haven't already. Delete the left and right channel. Select and hit the delete key. Select audio amplitude layer and press E on your keyboard. Expand both channels and click on the slider. Now if you click on this graph icon you will see all the created keyframes. Which kind of looks like audio waveforms. Now hold down alt key and click on the stopwatch icon next to the slider. This will open a box where we are going to write some impressions. 
erase everything in the box and type in linear brackets value comma zero comma zero comma zero comma zero and close brackets now let me take a moment and explain what this is if you want to proceed anyway go to this timestamp or whatever it is called so if you hover your mouse over the keyframes you'll see units at the end the lower the keyframes the lower the amount of unit the first zero in the code means the start of the frequency and the second zero means the end of the frequency if we type in 45 in the first zero and 65 in the other the effects we are about to add will only react to these frequencies the third zero is for static which will keep at zero and the fourth zero is the amount of reaction added to the particular effect that you will apply which will keep at 0.4 i hope that makes sense now copy audio amplitude press ctrl c on your keyboard to copy click the logo layer and ctrl click spectrum layer to select both layers right click and select pre comp call it whatever you would like double click to open the pre comp Paste the audio amplitude here by pressing Ctrl V. Create an adjustment layer. Search for bulge in effect and presets. Drag and drop it on the adjustment layer. Increase the bulge's size, make it even larger than the comp size. Hold down Alt key and click on the stopwatch icon next to bulge height. Make sure the slider in the audio amplitude layer is visible. Pick whip it to the slider. Now if you play through the clip you'll see now it's now reacting to the bass. Do the same thing to magnify. Add 100 plus at the beginning. Now we have even better bass reaction. Go back to main comp, we are going to add some effects to the background. Create another audio amplitude from the bass boosted. You have to create new audio amplitude every time you want to add a new effect. It's a little bit more manual without plugins, so makes sense. We are going to use different values this time. We want it to react different than the visualizer. Drag and drop magnify to the background layer. Change size to 1100. Hold down alt and click the stopwatch icon next to magnification. And the rest is the same as we did before. Now we are going to add some shake effect to it. Click on the expand icon, go to transform and alt click on the stopwatch icon next to the position. Type in wiggle bracket 0, 0, close bracket. First number is the amount of shake which will keep at 15. Second is the amount of movement of this shake which will keep low at 5. Now we're going to make the background flash. As you've seen in the visualizer, when the bass is too high, the background flashes white. So like I said before, every time we add a new effect, we'll create a new audio amplitude from the bass boosted audio file. Value will be different again this time because we only want it to react to higher frequencies. Right click on the composition, go to new, then select solid. We'll call it flashes and make the color white.
Expand layer effects and alt click on the stopwatch next to opacity. Pick whip it to the slider we created a few seconds ago. And there you have it. Here is your dubstep gutter style visualizer made with After Effects with no plugins. This is the closest I could get to make it without plugins. And that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.